Sitting on the shore of Lake Ontario sits this incredible abandoned mansion. The property was purchased in 1967 and construction of the home began. At this time, Canada was having celebrations, activities, and events of all kinds across the country to mark the 100th anniversary of Confederation. A totem pole was erected on the property as part of these celebrations. This resulted in a heritage impact assessment in 2022 on the totem pole. It was determined that as part of native tradition, once the pole was erected, it was to never be repaired or repainted and left to fall to the elements. The home changed ownership on a few occasions, lastly being purchased in 2020 for $4.9 million. Since then the home has sat, both the power and water are shut off, and the house is falling into a state of disrepair. With the neighborhood going through a large amount of redevelopment, it looks like this home will be demolished to make way for another modern mansion. How's it going guys? It's Noah here. Today we're at an absolutely incredible abandoned lakefront home. I think this is going to be a fan favorite. There's stunning views of Lake Ontario. The house has a little bit of decay, just like you can see behind me. Uh, I believe a developer has purchased out this house to demolish it and put something newer. It's a shame though, because this place is stunning. I mean stunning. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go explore this place, see what we can find. All right guys, so. We're starting right at the front door here and look at this entranceway. Like, are you kidding me? You got a beautiful skylight, a stone wall that probably wraps outside the house. Like this place is just incredible. You don't see places like this just sitting, rotting away. Look at that. I've checked in there, there's nothing in there. But in here, nothing either. This may be hard to see guys, but I'm gonna try to show you the best I can. I'm gonna crank the exposure on the camera. Look at this living area. This is as soon as you walk in the house. It's got crazy exposed beams. It has amazing views of the water. You can see Lake Ontario super clearly. But we got a spiral staircase right here. We'll have to tone down the exposure in a second, but got parquet floor. I just want you to see this fireplace. And then I'm gonna adjust it. Look at this fireplace, guys. Look at how incredible this is. Like, are you kidding me? Like it's just, it goes all the way to the ceiling. Just a stunning, I mean stunning fireplace. All the exposed beams on the ceiling and they converge right in the middle to that insane spiral staircase. Never seen anything like that in the house before. And if you look out the window, these are the views, man. Looks like there's a boat launch over there, possibly. Like, it's such a big fireplace. It's nuts. It goes to the ceiling. I don't know if it's gonna keep it, but yeah, look at that. Plus there's a beautiful balcony. It overlooks Lake Ontario. You can actually see the CN Tower right over there. It's just, <laughs> it's crazy. Some sort of like monitoring system, maybe. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, some water. Well, actually, there's quite a bit of water damage in here. Look at the ceiling around the light. It's like a little bubble. Same with over here. There's water damage all up in the ceiling. Nice little puddle on the floor. But look at that. Your view is incredible. And you look at the fireplace, it runs outside. It's actually, it continues down to the basement. There's quite a bit of water damage. Like there's spots in the ceiling that are absolutely just destroyed. The 
Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! Bro, look at that! Look at how bad that is! Oh, oh bro! My you were like this far from getting smoked! By the roof! Bro, guys, the, <laughs> the ceiling literally just collapsed. It's just, I guess it has enough water right now. What the hell? Look at how bad it is. So if you guys don't think it's abandoned, like two seconds ago, it was fine. Yeah, guys, like it, <laughs> it literally, there was a crack. I think I showed you it earlier in the video. I was like falling apart there and I was like, oh, I wonder if that's gonna fall. <laughs> well, it fell. <laughs> what is this? What, why are there just giant pieces of tree in here? Like, are they making live edge or something? Like. Look at how big they are. That's nuts. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. Hmm. Wow, look at this kitchen, guys. People would die to have a kitchen like this. Look at the views. Incredible. There's some stuff left behind. And like, it's just, there's just so many different ways to get outside. Like this is built to be a house that you enjoy your scenery. That's why this is a million dollar home because of this kind of view. Even these appliances are pretty old. They're like 90s or 80s. Hasn't changed that. We got a double oven, is that what I'm seeing? We got a double, oh my God, the, oh, I thought that was mold. The double oven's cool. Little pocket here, little serving window. One thing I noticed though with this house, it's very windy. <laughs> it's very, very windy. You can hear all the wind coming off Lake Ontario. Even the kitchen, like the sink over here, even it's got just crazy beautiful natural light. It's hard to film natural light like this, so I apologize if it's a bit dark. But that's just, it's just wild to see. It's a beautiful home. This is the kind of house that I would absolutely love to own. It has everything that I want pretty much. It's just so beautiful. So like I showed before, Huge beams. They actually run outside. Those are structural, obviously, but yeah, it's such a unique house. So let's go this way. Pretty basic bedroom. Very large cedar closet though. That's wild. Oh, this window, you can actually see there's a marsh, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. So not tons of bedrooms in here though. I think it wasn't a, a huge family living here. I think it was just a, a couple maybe. Looks like a fairly newly renovated washroom. It's kind of like that Richie, rich style. Like those cabinets give that like bridal path vibe almost. So this is the master and this is probably one of the best views in the house. So, Look at that. Off of the master, obviously, you have a door that leads outside. The room itself, very nice. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see everything, but 
Looks like they cut a bunch of wood, a bunch of the trees to make the view better. Nice little fireplace. And then, wow, these bay windows are insane. They overlook a pond or a marsh. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at their master bed uh, bath. Oh my god, it's huge. There's still toiletries and stuff in here, man. Got some bedding. I think that's a memory foam pillow. There's a pillow. I guess not toiletries, but there's bedroom supplies. There's keys. Like a bunch of them. Hmm. I think it was recently abandoned because it's, you know, there's still stuff from like 2021, so it's about two years. This walk-in closet's absolutely massive. Holy. I don't know if you can consider this house a mansion, but it's got mansion vibes. It's not huge, but it's got all those like features and things that a mansion would have, which is just, I don't even know what to say about this place. I've done some really cool explorers, but this is probably one of my favorites I've done in a while. Wow. This is nuts. Got your toilet right there. Little vanity right here. What's crazy to me is that you can sit in your jacuzzi tub and watch out the window of the marsh. This would be great sunset, everything like that. And this tub has some of the biggest jets I've ever seen <laughs> in one of these kind of tubs. Yeah, it's, a very, it's a, an amazing place, guys. There's really nothing else you can say. It's just amazing. So we finished this upper floor. It's absolutely amazing. The views of Lake Ontario are just incredible in this place. We're gonna head downstairs. This spiral staircase is so cool. It's got this crazy large exposed beam. It's actually one that you can walk down. It's a solid, large spiral staircase. Wow, look at down here. It's stone floor. Look at this bar, man. This hidden bar. All the mirrors. I love the tiny little bar sinks. This is so cool. And you can also see the spiral staircase right here. I'm gonna walk into the fireplace room again because it's crazy. This whole fireplace, it goes from the bottom floor all the way up to the top. It's gonna be hard to see because of the lighting, but this fireplace goes from all the way upstairs to down here, and it goes outside. So there's a fireplace outside as well as inside, which is crazy. There's an indoor pool. Like this place is amazing. It was, it's just amazing, guys. Let's go to the pool room. <laughs> like the fact that they have an indoor pool is just nuts. Look at this. Exposed beams on the ceiling. It's gonna be hard to see because the uh, windows, guys, I apologize, but it's a pretty deep pool too, like it's not small. Just crazy. What is this, what is this little room here? Is this a sauna? What? Oh my god, is this a tanning bed or is this like a tanning room? This is a sauna or something like that. It's gotta be cold, warm. What? I don't even know. If you know what this is, let me know. This is cool. So this is just off the pool area. Oh yeah. Of course you got a toilet. You got a pocket door. Okay, it does lead back in. What does this go? Well, it's kind of a maze, this house. It's, like a, it's a very odd shape, so it's 
kind of maze-like, but... Look at this. Wow. Some of the wires have been ripped out of the house. Got the pump for the pool, I believe, back there. Oh no, the pump for the pool's right there. It's nuts. So like I said, it was built in 69, but it's been renovated at some point. Like this is a more modern bathroom off the pool uh, here. So something to consider. Ooh, tiny fit. I'll never get over this spiral staircase. Like this is one of the, mo one of the most incredible houses I think I've ever seen. And the fact that it's gonna be demolished kills me. I'd love to live here. Look at the wine cellar. Look at how big it is. Oh my gosh. I wonder if they had this fully stocked. Be pretty impressive, I think, but holy. It fit probably a couple hundred bottles in here at least. And maybe this is where they kept the more expensive bottles. That'd be my guess. That's crazy. Anything in the fridge? No. There's some mold in there though. Okay, so let's go this way. And like I mentioned before guys, the views in this house are stunning. Like, every room just leads right out to the lakefront. Like you get just basically a 360, or not 360, but like a 200 degree view of the lake. You can even see the CN Tower from here, which is crazy. This was like some kind of like almost parquet, like they set it up a certain way. So it's over here. Oh, it's completely wooden in here. This has gotta be an office. Oh yeah, this is an office. Big old closet. It's a shame because you can see on these cabinets here, there's mold starting all over them. Um, they even have a totem pole in the backyard. You see that? Look at this. A totem pole back there. That's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. Wow. Yeah, this is a very, very cool house. Yeah, I just, I just, before I leave, I just look at this. It's, it may be really windy, but like they have an outdoor fireplace that's connected to this incredible stone fireplace. Like, is that so cool? It's dual purpose, but this place is just ridiculous. And it also tried to kill us, so that's fun. But that, that's pretty much the house, guys. Like, it's a small home, but it gives mansion vibes. It's very, very cool. There's so many cool features that this house has and you know it's actually decayed so it's one of those places that it's just a shame that it's getting knocked down if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button it helps push the video and the algorithm drop a comment down below tell me what you think of this place would you fix it up and live in it because i know i sure would and be sure to hit that subscribe button we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023 so if you could help me get there that would be absolutely amazing hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you in the next one uh -huh.